free will. Hmm. I, as I tell everybody, I'm agnostic on it. I'm intensely interested in it, but I have no opinion. I don't even know if it's an argument that can be solved one way or another. Um, I'm inclined more towards the not free will bit, but mm, that's hard to say. Um, I guess I would like to actually examine the idea of the will in and of itself. Never mind whether or not it's free. Um, what do we mean when we mean when we say the will? Um, in Pyro's uh, information stream, we were discussing that on his in his hangout. I said that which comes at us is the outside. That which we project into the information stream is our will. Um, in other words, we want to make sense of the world, so we create forms. The forms exist only in our heads, but for our own purposes, they're very useful. Um, is that free, and how would we tell? I don't know. Um, but think about that, though. The whole idea of a will. What is that? And how would we assign agency to it, i.e. free or not free? Um, I don't know. And not only that, not free will doesn't automatically mean hard determinism, I guess. Um, one of my favorite bits is uh, this, the way in which some people manage to deprive human beings of free will, in other words, at least in terms of their view of it, and yet keep personal responsibility as an important part of being a human. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure how that would work, but um, it does make one wonder. Um, if your will is free or isn't free, what is it, however, in relation to everything else? What does it mean to have a will? Um, and what does the will, what is the will's relationship to phenomenality, to, you know, external reality, I guess we'd call it? 